yeah that's why i always do that when i start uh setting up the camera i've got two cameras ready now yeah i've got two cameras ready so i've got two to go two to go yeah so i'm still working on this second to the last is that how they say yeah second to the last second to the last one mm. this one too it's on let me put it in in its place now here be your position no oh. eh? make you they enjoy yourself actually i'm looking for my glasses where's my glasses so oh. where is my reading glasses because i have to use my glasses to to read people's names well as of now i can't find my glasses so i guess I have to do without calling your name. If I can, I will. Trust me, if I can see your name, I will call it. But if I can't see it, Babe, you just have to do it the way it is today. Every day now be Christmas. You can't always have everything in order or perfect, if you like. Today, I'm not even going to be long talking on social media. I'm not going to be long today because I have to go out after this. I have to go out. I have to go out. Okay. One, two, three, four. All set. Four. How are you doing, everyone? Yes. Welcome to England. And... Yeah, the weather today is not too bad. It's, mm, it's very nice. I, I can see somebody on Facebook. Sorry, I'm not wearing my glasses. I won't be able to read out your name, but you know who you are. Thank you very much for joining me. You're the first person to join today. I've got Facebook here. I've got Instagram in the middle, and I've got another Facebook page here. And here at the bottom here, I've got YouTube. Yes. So four cameras so now. Thank you. Everybody, I want you to pay attention here. Yeah? First of all, let me ask you a question. Do you know what's been going viral on social media lately in Nigeria? And also it's been okay i can see the person but i can't i'm sorry i'm sorry i can't read yeah i can read nice one but i can't read your name why is it that i can read nice one and i can't read is this in Kapukwala? i may be right i may be wrong but i'm sorry let me look for my glasses man i can't be doing show without glasses it's the first time well first time is everything I'm no, I don't have my glasses. Yeah. If you want to come on and say your name, please, I will add you. Just send a request. I will add you. Yeah. For the past two, probably going to three weeks or even more than three weeks now, uh, the social media platforms have been bombarded with the justice for mubad mubad is an artist a nigerian artist um i would say averagely popular because uh, i don't know maybe i'm even wrong you can correct me when i say averagely popular because it's not like boner boy it's not like whiskey it's not that video but it's popular do you understand and people are fighting for justice over his date and let me have this one 
uh, I just found this one. Everybody, can you see YouTube? Can you see Facebook? Can you see Instagram? This is Orobo. Orobo. I like this because I like this because when you take it, it's good. I use it because it clears your break. Do you get what I'm saying? It gives me good break. I'm telling you. This one. Anything I eat after this or drink will taste nicely. And this is why I use it. Because this orobo, what's the English for orobo? Is it cola nut or something? I don't know. No, no, no. It's not cola nut. I don't know what it's called in English. Anyway, it's called orobo in Yoruba. Yeah. So, it's also good for other, um, it's good for medicinal, medicinal medicine oh god english is a tough language i'm telling you to speak that's why we're all trying to speak it especially we nigerians okay somebody join again in your life oh my god my favorite it's been a long time have you been omolu omolu bami yeah that's what i call you yeah in your life Where have you been you understand? That's business. That's life. That's everything. I haven't seen you. I haven't spoken to you for a long time. Did you hear that I had COVID? I nearly died in 2021. Yeah, I had it. Since then, life has changed. Even the way I broke has changed too. Because I'm still going through that long COVID. If you, if you, if you knew me, okay okay thank you sorry i can't read it now i will read it after because i'm not wearing my glasses now and and i can't read anything but i don't know i managed to read your name kena i i managed to read it so that's it mobad is dead everybody is talking about it um about this guy this artist do you know a lot of things are unfolding through investigation, even through our own culture, our own Nigerian people. That's where I want to concentrate on. I'm not concentrating on uh, investigation unfolding and gangsterism, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, I'm not going to talk about uh, what's his name? Oh, the, 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 the Malian boss. Yeah, because he's, he lives in my area anyway. This area that I am living, I know him. He lives in my area. And I'm also into entertainment. He doesn't say, it doesn't mean that if somebody is doing it, well, I can't talk about him. But it's not the time to talk about that now. What I want to talk about is everybody's fighting for justice for Mubad. Do you know that? something else is unfolding among our Nigerian people. This is true story. This is what I had. Me, when I go out, I used to be a journalist. I used to be a radio broadcaster. But I'm not going to say I'm, I'm doing that anymore. I'm retired now. I'm retired. But while you are retired, you still hear things that you want to bring out to let everybody know what i want to ask or unfold is do you know that this uh, justice for mobad is actually creating division among <laughs> our people tribalism is creating it at first Many people talking. Okay, I've got a message. I'm going to read it later. Like I said, I cannot read message now because I'm not wearing uh, my reading glasses. As I'm talking, I'm still looking around if I can find the reading glasses somewhere. Well, I see that reading glasses, I think, is being doing hide and seek for me. It's hiding somewhere. I know I will find it when uh, when I finish the broadcast, <laughs> but I need it now. When I finish the broadcast, it's not going to be of use to me. But having said that, 
do you know I'm hearing how you doing sir or oh, madam I can see somebody on Instagram welcome I want to talk about Mubad, uh, Mubad's death the justice we are all fighting for do you know that it's creating tribalism we all know talking when we why am I speaking English I'm speaking English why can I speak Boki I think my my oration will be flow like proper if i'm speaking pigeon now i'll be she may i speak pigeon now or may i continue with this english i won't speak yoruba because i know we are all from different parts of the world some people speak spanish some people understand english some people speak french some people speak blah 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 and even in nigeria major tribes are yoruba Hausa, and Igbo. yeah this is where i come into do you know that some Igbo people are some some of them not all of them will because i i, I can't generalize because people like Toto Dike, she's not yoruba She's supporting it. People like Regina Daniels, she's not Yoruba. She's supporting it because you understand. Uh, Iyabo Ojo, she's dating an Igbo person. She's supporting it. You understand? So it's not all Igbo. But I actually found out this is true story and this is a fact, if you like, that some Igbo are not supporting justice for Mumbai. Boom, Mumbai because they reckon that they going back to the election time that uh, when it came when the election came or when the election happened in nigeria uh people are voting for peter obi people are voting for tinubu blah blah blah, blah. but yoruba people are hi how are you doing sir or oh, madam sorry i can't see your name so i'm gonna be i'm not gonna be able to read out your name because i use glasses and I don't have my glasses on now. So, as I was saying, during the election, some people don't want to vote for Tinubu because they are not Yoruba. And so people don't want to vote for uh, Peter Obi because they are, not, um, they are not Igbo. Some people don't want to vote for, uh, what's his name? The other guy, Awusa, because they are not Awusa. You understand? That happens a lot in Nigeria when it comes to politics, you understand? And in any aspect of life, even at work as well, yeah? But why is this happening to justice for Mubad? I overheard some Igbo, group of Igbo people talking that they're not going to support the justice for Mubad rally and even the candlelight because they are not Yoruba and they are even reminding us that look at what Yoruba people did when it comes to the election they did not vote for Peter Obi they voted for their own person Tinubu my question is why do we have to bring tribalism in everything we do in Nigeria this goes out to Nigeria why do we have to bring tribalism in everything we do in Nigeria. Why does it have to happen? Me, I'll give you an example. Yeah, You can call me bastard if you like. You can call me bastard Yoruba if you, if you want to. I don't mind. You understand? Me, when I was growing up, yeah, when I was growing up in, I think, a kitty or something, but I know I was two years old when I came to Lagos. I grew up in Lagos. Uh, so, when I was growing up in Ekiti, white people used to live in my family house, my dad's house, white people. They come from abroad. Obviously, it's going to be England, I'm guessing. So, they used to live. We wake up, we see them. They were like our guests when I was growing up. So I see white people. From there, I can never, I've never discriminated against white people because that's what I, see, I saw when I was little. 
Another thing is I cannot discriminate against people's religion or faith, if you like, because my mom was a Christian. She's dead. She's dead now. She was a Christian. And my own brother, one of my brothers, the eldest one, the, actually the younger part of the top, he is a Muslim. She today is an alpha. But I see my mom and this my brother, Muslim brother, sitting together and they having religious conversation in a very nice way. The, my mom will quote from the Bible. My brother, my Muslim brother, will quote from the Quran. They talk, but their talking was not violent. They were having nice conversation. How are you doing, sir? Yeah. So that's why, yes, my um I'm trying to read what you write here. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? I used to pronounce people's names when I see them, when they come up on Instagram or Facebook. I used to pronounce their name because at that time uh, I was wearing my reading glasses, but today I'm not wearing my reading glasses and I'm going to be making it sharply, sharply. So I do apologize if I'm not calling out your names here. So because of that, I see my mom, Christian, my brother, Muslim. They have good conversation, no fighting, just nice. You know when you when you see people having comfortable glasses. I'm gonna go and check on my base. I'll be right back. Please do whatever you can take to entertain yourself. I'll be right back. I can see somebody touching. Thank you very much. I'll be right back. I've got my lunch. Yeah, let me just go and lower my cooker because I'm warming up now. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Ah, okay. Before I continue talking, I'm having a nice tea. Let me introduce tea to everybody. Yeah. And I'm going to be growing in my farm. I have a farm in Nigeria, a three-acre farm. I'm going to be growing in. Because in the Western world, they actually ban this, this fruit from people because it kills a lot of diseases. I'm not going to go into what this is. But I'm only mention, mentioning one. Cancer. It's called sour sap. Sour sap. Sour sap. Anybody? Have you heard of it? Sour sap. I don't know what it's called in Yoruba. It must have a name in Yoruba, but I don't know what it's called in Yoruba. It's sour sap. It's good for the health. Yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be growing it in Nigeria very soon. As soon as I come to Nigeria, I'm gonna go and order it and put it in my farm because it's very medicinal. Okay. So as I was saying, you must have good mind in relating to other people. Do not say this person is not my. Uh, it's not from my tribe, so I can't support him. Or this person is not from my tribe. I can't be his friend. I can't talk to him. Do you understand? Tribalism is a dangerous disease. I'm telling you, tribalism is very, is very dangerous. And this happen, happens in Nigeria. Even with people, do you know that you don't have to live in the Western world to be enlightened? There are some people in this way somewhere that are still kind of illiterate, if I may say that. You understand? They are still discriminating against people. Some here are discriminating against white people. Some here are discriminating uh, against Ghanaians. Some here are discriminating against Somalia. Some 
uh, he discrimi discriminating against uh, Nigerians. Some are dis discriminating against older people. Why do we have to discriminate? Discriminate? It's a big question. Trust me. Always check yourself. My friends, my first best friend when I came to England in the eighties, yeah, my first best friend was an Awusa guy. I was a teenager. He was a teenager. We were going to the same school. He was my best friend. We went to college together. And when he finished his course, when we finished together, yeah, he actually asked me, he invited me that he's going back to Nigeria. Let's go back to Nigeria. He's going to find a job. And he will introduce me to people. You understand? I like this guy. Not that I don't like him, but that then I haven't got my papers in this country. That will tell you that some people came to this country to get their papers. Some people came here to study and move back. So we all have different uh, interpretation to life or what we to want to do when we come here. You understand? So, well, back to this topic. Why do we have to discriminate? Why do we have to hate people before because of their religion? Why do we have to hate people before because of their tribe? Why is it that some Igbos are not supporting justice for Mumbai, Mumbai? Why? Why are they not supporting justice for Mumbai just because Mumbai is Yoruba and they are Igbo? I only, I only find out from Igbo people, but I'm sure if, uh, if I'm friends, with Aosa people. Some might even do it. Some might not. You understand? We cannot generalize everybody. We can all be the same thing. We have good people and bad people in every tribe. I'm telling you, we have good and bad in every tribe. I'm telling you, why don't you try as much as possible to actually teach your children your generation, your new generation, not to discriminate against people. Teach them to love everybody like their own self. After all, if you're a Christian, it's in the Bible that love your neighbor like yourself. So why can't we? We are not even talking about a neighbor here. We're talking about tribe. But if God can still love your neighbor, why not love your, your tribe? And these people that are discriminating against other tribes they are christians they are muslims they are whatever you want to call them from different faiths you understand so they are not really practicing what they preach you cannot call yourself a christian or a muslim and hate another person some muslims we hate some christians some christians we hate uh, some christian even some christian we hate um, if you are not a born again, you are their enemy. Why do we always do this in Africa? I'm not going to be talking about Nigeria alone, Africa in general, or other black countries, black nations, even Caribbeans as well. I'm sure they discriminate as well because uh, I've had somebody talking bad about some people from Trinidad and other people talking about other people from Jamaica. Why do we do that? Yeah, why? Let's support a cause. You understand? To guidance, we are supporting human being. We are not supporting a race. When you think about that, life will be better. Don't support Yoruba. You are supporting a race. You are supporting a victim to to make better sense out of it. The guy is a victim, it's not a race. Why is it that you are, when you are Igbo uh, or Aousa, you will not support justice for mobile just because you are not from the same tribe? Come on. I don't know, I don't even know what tribe mobile is from. It could be from Osho, it could be from, I don't care. As, as far as I'm concerned, he's a human being. Let's think like that. Don't 
don't put people in a box like oh it's nigeria or it's jamaica or it's uh, trinidad or it's white see people as human being and support human being S support somebody because somebody died doesn't mean it's not from your tribe you can't you cannot fight for justice do you understand ask yourself are you a human being are you thinking right because if, if, if you're not thinking right, I mean, if you're not thinking the way I'm thinking now, you're not a human being. I don't think you're a human being. And I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not trying to say I'm the only human being on earth. But you must support the right cause. You understand? A human being is dead. It's not a nation that is dead or it's not a tribe that is dead. It's a human being. Is another man, flesh and blood like you. You understand? And I'm sure when God, who created us, if you believe in that story, yeah, God created the world. He created us equally. He created man, created woman. You understand? So, and he loved everybody. If God can love you, you understand? So why can't you love another person why can't you love someone from another tribe why can't you love someone from another race what is wrong with you? start thinking am i communicating am i communicating am i getting through do you understand have you ever thought it why do people discriminate why do some people practice tribalism why you understand you have to free your mind, change the way you think, think positively, because the way you think, you will use it to affect your generation. You understand? I know my children. My children can never discriminate against anybody. If my children now come home and say, okay, dad, I found love, and the person I'm marrying is a white man, I'm going to accommodate him. Before, not for the sake of the man, but for the sake of my daughter. So I'm not just going to discriminate against their partner's um, race or tribe, whatever you want to call it. You understand? I'm going to involve my daughters, my children. I'm going to involve them on how to love people like themselves. You have to love people like yourself, not love people for because oh they are your race, they are your family, or they are uh, they are your tribe. It is wrong. Start teaching your children the right thing. You understand? It is wrong. You don't have to teach them that they don't have to they don't have to like or love people who are not from your tribe. I'm telling you, most of my friends in UK, I tell you, they are mixed. Some of my friends are Jamaicans. Some of my friends are white people. Some of my friends, and even some of my closest friends are from Ghana. I'm telling you from Ghana. They even came to see me in the hospital when I was uh, admitted at the hospital during COVID. They are Ghanaians. They brought me food watch a uh keke and um or that shito you understand which i ate i did not say oh because they're from ghana i'm not going to eat their food you have to learn from other culture your culture ain't the best culture in the world you have to adopt another culture especially when you're in western country you have to understand you are here to learn their own culture you understand? I'm not saying you should learn everything about their culture. I'm not saying learn what is good about the culture. Adopt what is good about the culture. Mm -hmm. You know, you the one I can see somebody, but I can't read your name. Thanks for joining. So to round off, to round off this conversation, like I said before, I'm not gonna be long. Why do you think people are discriminating when it comes to fight for Bobat? Because it's no Bobat was not from that tribe. 